Fortnite has had a pretty crazy secret update, and the future of our Fortnite island has just been uncovered. Doctor Who has arrived in Fortnite, and it seems a crazy event is in the works. Doctor Who is a show about a time traveler who travels through time with... <gasps> A post box. Yo! There has been talks about a Doctor Who collaboration in Fortnite for quite some time. Players didn't know exactly what it would look like and when it would come into game. But the information has finally been revealed. And it seems to involve some kind of event. Brand new Doctor Who outfits will be released. A glider. It's the shape of the time traveling device, the TARDIS. A brand new emote. Harvesting tools called Sonic Staff. And Dalek Manipulator Arm. Hey, you guys know the Daleks? You guys know the Daleks? Yo, the Daleks are kind of sick angle. Life. And this event is going full on with brand new weapons, units advanced rifle, and a Wrath Warrior cannon. Hey, I don't know about you guys, but all of those new updates sound pretty sick. We are also expecting some kind of live event to go along with the release of this Doctor Who collaboration. I'm not quite sure what a live event would be for Doctor Who. Maybe we get a time travel in his flying device. That would seem pretty cool. Oh, hey. Hey, what do you think, bro? Hey, hey bro, what do you think about Doctor Who? Ah! He came through the door! Ooh, that guy's looking forward to the Doctor Who event. So he can time travel before he got destroyed. See you later, nerd. We should expect to see any day more Easter eggs of this Doctor Who upcoming event in our Fortnite game. So expect the arrival of a time machine literally in Fortnite just like this. Uh, but I will say this event is supposed to be in creative mode. You know, a bit like that Kid Leroy music festival. It was like built in creative mode, but it was still pretty epic. It's going to be a bit like that. Look out for this time traveling device in your Fortnite game. It's coming in one epic upcoming collaboration. This season's final event ending might have just been revealed. There are huge rumors of a Godzilla collaboration with Fortnite. There are tons of references to Godzilla from the Mecha Godzilla at the Mega City. And logos referencing Godzilla, pickaxes literally named after Godzilla. It goes on. But if you've been online, an official trailer has actually been released. An actual official trailer from the company that makes Godzilla. And yes, this is 100% real. If Godzilla is collaborating with Fortnite, we expected there to be some kind of film. And it would seem an official announcement of the next Godzilla film has officially been released. And it seems to show Godzilla has been defeated. In this trailer for the new film of Godzilla, we can actually see the skull of Godzilla himself, suggesting that in this film, he's gonna be defeated. If Godzilla is coming to our Fortnite game, if Epic Games is collaborating with this specific film of Godzilla, could it be the first hint that Godzilla is not supposed to survive this season? Ooh, there are even more hints that this might be true with these most recent leaks of a new biome in season 3. A deserted, deserty ruined biome full of desert sand, cactuses, and trees has been rumored to make an appearance in season 3. A sandy, deserty location full of ruined buildings seems to be on the agenda for the next upcoming season. But the question is, what does a giant, deserty, ruinous land have to do with Godzilla? Well, don't ask that guy. That guy does not know anything, and we don't want to fight him. We've already seen crazy glitches the Mega Mall disappearing in our Fortnite game. This has lead players to believe that the Mega Mall will be destroyed during this season, and it will be left in ruin for the next. We suspect that some kind of giant will be coming to our Fortnite game, and whether this giant is Godzilla, or maybe the attack on Titan's giant. Whoever it is, it will destroy the Mega Mall, leaving it a desolate, ruined mess. Could this be how this giant deserty land is going to appear in season three? It's just a guess. I, uh... It was that Deadpool? It was that Spider-Man? Oh, is this Fortnite, or is this Marvel? Hello? I uh, can't run out of gas. Um, it is a pretty wild guess. We are still in season two of Fortnite. We're nowhere near chapter three. But it is kind of fun to think about, huh? Leaves in the files. It seems to suggest that this desert's location will have some kind of life. Maybe trees growing up in the middle. But what purpose it has for the storyline? And which location is likely to change and become a completely desolate desert biome? Well, if the mega city is going to be removed at the end of this season, maybe it's going to be here. Maybe this entire location is about to become dust. And so am I. Yo, Deadpool's back and he's got the mythic. I know I'm gonna lose this. Bro. I'm so not used to being in no build mode. Bro, I tried to trash, build, but I, I, I'm in no build mode. So I can do it. Bro. I don't suck. I'm just not used to it. You give your boy a chance, bro. Come on. Oh, with the mega city falling in season three and turning to dust, we can assume also that Godzilla himself will fall and turn to dust in time. Usually in Fortnite, giant monsters don't survive beyond one season. And with this potentially only being a collaborated event, we should suspect that Godzilla will also fall by the end of season two and the beginning of chapter three. And 
friends, just in case you missed it, we are definitely getting a monster in season two. We recently uncovered in the Mega Mall Japanese symbols when directly translated into English actually reveal that they translate to beware of monsters. Why would these secret Japanese texts tell us to beware of monsters? Well, that's because a monster is coming to our Fortnite game. Whether the giant monster is Godzilla or maybe some other giant monster from Attack on Titan, we can't know for sure. That's with all these Godzilla references. I know where I place my bets. Our Fortnite Island is gonna look completely different in the next coming season. And it's all thanks to these leaks. Oh, I almost completely forgot. Hey, did you guys even know? The seven are officially dead, but they might be able to come back to life. Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. It's been officially confirmed by an Epic Games employee. The seven are officially dead. All the members of the seven, the foundation, the scientists, the origin, all of our epic Fortnite characters have actually been slain. But there is a way for them to come back. Donald Mustard, the guy who writes the Fortnite storyline, had been doing an interview related to Fortnite. And he literally said the following. The seven storyline isn't over. And they can find a way to come alive again. Yo, Epic Games, what do you mean by come to life again? They were to come to life again. Oh, brother. If they were to come to life again, then they probably would have to not be alive right now. Did Donald Mustard, the guy who writes the storyline of Fortnite, did he just make a mistake in his speech by revealing that the Seven may find a way to come back to life? He confirmed to us that the Seven are currently not alive, and in fact, that they're all dead. The last we saw of the Foundation, the main member of the Seven, he disappeared on our Chapter 3 island, and only his helmet was left behind. We know Paradigm entered the Zero Point to try and find help to stopping the Chrome Demon herself, the Herald. Silence was taken away, and Paradigm never returned. And then, like, what? The Bro. And then, like, the other members of the Seven just got handed to Chrome, right? Right? Oh, snap. Fire. Ooh! Oh, my man's cooked. So the members of the Seven are officially gone, but they may have a way back into the storyline. So what exactly does that mean? Well, me personally, I have literally no idea. I have no idea when they're coming back. Amy? Isn't Amy the AI supposed to be doing something? But the whole scientist disappearance situation, like, I don't know. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping you guys in the comment section could let me know, because I don't know how the Seven are coming back. Let me know. Oh, snap. ODM Mythic on ODM Mythic, huh? I sense an epic anime mo- Right, ran out of charge! <laughs> Jeez, it don't matter. Good job we loaded up with the katana, huh? Little bro, go home. We don't want you. Bruh. Bro, let's go. Bro. No, bro, out of my, the, the music was so cool, bro. Come on. I hit that guy way more than he hit me. I got the skill points as well. I, I just look so much cooler than he did. We're using a season three skin from chapter two. This man is out of date.